Hey, what's going on, my statue lovers and my comic book lovers? It's been a while since I've actually done a video on a statue, so I figured this would be a perfect time, being that I just got this in. Now, this is the DC's Bombshell Joker and Harley Quinn, and it's a, uh, a limited edition statue piece here that uh, they, they did actually off of this book. Um... And so they just, uh, and it's just the uh, statue version of, of that comic book. Now, if you guys don't know, um, this is actually a parody off of the August 1945 uh, famous VJ kiss by that sailor and uh, kissing that girl on, uh, on Times Square. Uh, VJ being the victory, victory over Japan Day um, during, uh, during the World War II era. So, uh, and they, they, like I said, they did a parody of it, as you can tell. Instead of, uh, instead of the girl being down here, you've got Joker in the sailor suit. And then you've got Harley um, throwing him over and, and kissing, kissing the Joker. So I thought it would be a really nice statue to have. And, of course, as you guys know, I'm a Harley fan. So I wanted to, uh, wanted definitely to have this in my collection. So I wanted to show you guys the box first before I actually uh, took it out. And here's a little bit more of a close-up of Harley and Joker's face. It is a porcelain statue, as it says on the box. And on the back of the box, it just shows a, a couple different other bombshell, uh, the Catwoman and Cheetah. And I've seen this one as well, and this is not a bad piece. It's... Uh, um, you know, it's a nice one. I, I don't know if I'm going to get that one, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't strike me as a must-have. So, I figured I'd just, uh, just go, maybe just go with this one. And as, as you guys see, um, here's the, a little bit more of the, the picture on, as, as it shows on the comic book it, itself. So... I, I personally think they did a better job on the statue than <laughs> than they actually did on the, the the cover of the book. And this book is actually the design on this is by Aunt Lucia. As you guys know, it um, I've met Aunt Lucia, and I think I believe I've showed a photo of that uh, in one of my past comic book haul videos. But if you haven't seen it, I'll throw it up there again. And this is sculpted by Tim Miller. And Tim Miller does a lot of these sculptings for the uh, DC comic book uh, bombshell statues. So, anyways, uh, w without uh, further ado, and I'm not going to keep you guys uh, uh, in suspense here, I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy opened up, and I will show you it. Uh, so I will be right back. All right, guys. As you see, when you open the box, um, I recommend being very cautious when you, anytime you handle. Um, statues because uh, if if you see some of the some of the artwork on this statue, some of them are not necessarily standalone pieces. However, they could be very fragile because this is um, this is one of those, those uh, pieces that have um, smaller um, portions to it that can be easily fragile and it can easily be broken. So just be very cautious on that. And um, what we have here looks like uh, looks like it comes in three separate pieces. Um, you have the base to it, and which is a really good solid base to it. I mean, this is this is really good weight to it. So we've got here number one thousand one hundred and nineteen of fifty two hundred. So this is a limited to fifty two hundred pieces here. Not bad. And like I said, it's a really good weight to it. Then of course you have the the label right here. And this label piece, and it looks like there's a bit of a magnet right here, so it'll just stick on by by just magnetizing to the base, as you see. Bam. One more time. Boom. And it just sticks right there in it. And it's a pretty good, strong, pretty good, strong uh, magnet to it. So not bad at all. 
let me uh, let me pan down here a little bit guys so you can see that there we go and then we have the statue piece throw that aside and there we go take this plastic out and let's move this down here to the side and so here is here's the piece right there and as you can tell there are some parts on this that if you're not very cautious like right here right here right here that can easily be snapped off if uh, if not handled correctly maybe his sailor hat as well but let me go ahead and put this on the base before I mess it up any further by accident or just drop it and we'll go ahead and throw this and all you got to do is just line it up with oh here we go that piece right here that lines up right there and there we go there we go look at that nice okay what I'll do is I'll hope, go ahead and get my my little turntable right there and I'll come back that way I can do a, a total 360 for everyone all right so here we go um very beautiful piece. Let me go ahead and do a little 360 here. Really well done. I mean, a lot better than the, the cover art, if you ask me. So, I'm very happy with it. And there is, uh, does not look to be any damage to this piece whatsoever. The, the painting is really well done on this. So overall, I think it's just a really nice piece to have in your collection, especially if it's a limited edition, guys. If you guys know from uh, past statues with Harley, they're starting to sell like hotcakes. And there was a limited edition of the Harlequin statue that I have, and I did a video of that one as well. That was also a limited edition. And that bad boy was going up to five, six hundred dollars. Uh, just for that piece aftermarket and as you know these pieces originally sell from anywhere to two hundred fifty dollars three hundred dollars um, Market sale, but uh, if you if you get this statue or you get these limited statues after market sale You're going to be paying a really handsome price for it But nevertheless, I got this before that and so I'm, I'm very happy with the price it came with I'm very happy with the statue period so I'm uh, I'm definitely uh, very fortunate to get this before um, the price and everything goes up on this. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for you guys so you guys can see. And I haven't decided if I'm actually going to do a cinematic uh, review on this, where I just kind of throw in the the music and just kind of um, just do an all around 360 with it. I, I really haven't decided. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but uh, right now I just don't have the time to do it. I've got a lot of stuff going on. So, but nevertheless, I think it's a beautiful statue. I think it's really well done, and it is a good funny parody, like I said, to that famous um, photo that was done in 1945 during VJ Day, VJ Day, <laughs> VJ Day, um, on Times Square so I'm definitely happy to have this one and hopefully you guys like it as well and it's not a very big piece I think this probably stands uh, a little less than 12 12 inches in height the weight alone on this um, besides the base I don't think probably weighs more than a couple pounds if that with the whole thing together but uh, nevertheless it's uh, it's overall a great piece to have, guys. Um, I definitely recommend it. I have another piece actually coming in, too. It's the Harlequin that is on the Harley motorcycle. And I have that piece coming in. And it's supposed to come in uh, actually ne next month in December. So I'll be looking forward to have that one. It's a really beautiful piece, too. And it's really well done. But, um, and...
and I will definitely make sure I do a video on that. I'll definitely do a cinematic video on that. Where I'll just add the music on and just the different things. But uh, I, I just, like I said, I, I love this piece. I love the statue. Uh, once I saw it, uh, it came out. I definitely had to pre-order it. So I'm, I'm very, very overall thrilled. Anyways, I hope you like it. Um, and, I, and I'm definitely going to put this right next to my other other one and I wanted to show you something else as well I, I picked these ones up um, this is the pop uh, Fox Molder little uh, vinyl figure and this is the Dana Scully vinyl figure and I am an X-Files fan so and I saw this at my local comic book sh uh, store and so I said you know what I've got to have it so I wind up getting it I don't think I'll take it out of the box I think I'll leave the, these in the box and actually disp display them like that a lot of my other ones I've taken out of the box but these ones I think I'm just going to keep in there uh, it's really nice I, I really like that and um, if you guys don't know uh, any I'm sure if you're, you're an X-Files fan and you guys know that X Files is coming out. I think it's either January, or February. They're only doing a six, six or nine episode um, season, uh, just kind of a, uh, just kind of a aftermath of the the, the last movie they did. So I, I'm really looking forward to looking forward to seeing that. But uh, yeah. So I'm happy to have these Fox Mulder and Dayton Scully, and I'm definitely happy to have my Harley Quinn and Joker statue, guys. So oh, I appreciate y'all watching, and um, I'll, I'll probably wind up... Uh, don't forget, tomorrow as well is the uh, local comic book store Appreciation Day. So make sure you go show your uh, local comic book store some love. And I, I know some places will be doing, like, uh, sales, half off, dollar off, um, and they also have specific variants uh, for that day as well so make sure you guys go show your local comic book sh store some love and um, and just uh, just give them that support all right because without them we probably wouldn't have a lot of the stuff we have now <laughs> and uh, plus overall just great people that run the store and hopefully you have great people that run that store nevertheless guys and gals please take care of each, uh, each other out there please be safe out there and uh, I will talk at you guys soon